This is a quick, fun demonstration of some really cool stuff coming in Isilon, the industry leader when it comes to scale out NAS. So what we've got here is we've got an Isilon cluster, um, and uh, you can see that it's currently up and running. There's three nodes in it. And um, this Isilon cluster with uh, those three nodes is uh, currently containing a file system. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go and take a look, and we're going to mount that file system. This file system, when we open the individual SIF uh, um, share, uh, and this is actually, uh, like I said, SIFs and SMB here, it, the file system contains four basic files. Uh, nothing fancy, of course, this is what NAS does. Now, the key thing is, is that the PowerPoints that are inside this thing are going to highlight um, the awesomeness of what Isilon does today and tomorrow. Uh, clearly one of Isilon's big value propositions is that it's a single file system that across a cluster. But what we can also do is we can create a single file system that spans multiple sites. Now if we go and we take a look at uh, this uh, individual cluster and we take a look at the file system management, it's possible to say uh, we're going to create a, a policy, a cloud pool policy, that basically says that there's a cluster in Seattle and there's a cluster in Boston. And that is actually a single file system that spans multiple Isilon clusters. And we can actually have a file pool policy that says, hey, look, if the file name is demo2, actually move it to Boston. So even though it looked like it was all contained within a single file system, it actually spans multiple sites. Now, what we're going to be introducing uh, first in a tech preview and then ultimately in the product is something called cloud pools. What Cloud Pools does is it extends that idea to external cloud storage providers. And the first example here is using Microsoft Azure. So if you go and you take a look, again, we've got an Isilon cluster in one location, Isilon cluster in another location, but we've built a Cloud Pool policy that says if the file name is demo3 uh, pptx, uh, move it into Azure. Now, of course, the rules could be a much more sophisticated uh, set of settings than if it was that particular file. But what we're highlighting here is that um, this detailed policy about how much you want to retain out there and for how long can actually be applied across a complex file system. And even, remember, this looked to us when we logged into that uh, SMB share like a single contiguous file system actually was stored inside Azure. So it looks like a file system, but it's actually uh, using an object in uh, Azure's object store. And the punchline of this whole thing is that the original Seattle-based three-node cluster was tiny. There were nodes that were only 85 gigs, which is that we were actually using uh, software Isilon instances. Uh, we're jokingly calling this virtual Isilon multi-site 1FS cloud software-defined hybrid edition. Um, but as you can see, it's a really, really cool idea.